Alright guys, so I'm gonna tell you man, this story about the US women's soccer team equal pay settlement, I don't want to ever hear anything about male privilege ever again. I never want to hear anything about it ever again, okay? Because this right here is some BS, right? It is some BS, okay? Because the US Soccer Federation allowed themselves to get shook down for 20 plus million dollars by the US women's soccer team over a lie, okay? Over a flat out lie, okay? But unfortunately in 2022, wokeness, right, is more important than facts, okay? Wokeness is more important than facts. So we're gonna talk about this shakedown and how there are some women, particularly uh, Hope Solo, who used to play for the US women's soccer team, uh, that are still pissed about this, okay? Because apparently for some people, enough is not enough. Even though you won this money based off a lie. Before we get in that, I just want to let you guys know if you like my channel, you like my content, and you want to support my channel, please feel free to do so using the links in the description below. You can support the Patreon, you can support the PayPal, you can support the merch. Law Abiding Citizens Matter. You can get a sweatshirt at the merch store. Uh, you can also check out uh, my signature racist mugs, which is a daily reminder of the 2022 definition of racist according to the left, which is anybody who disagrees with the Democrat Party. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. So just to catch you guys up on what's going on here, the U.S. women's soccer team sued the U.S. Soccer Federation uh, for gender discrimination, right? They said that, hey, we're not receiving equal pay as men, okay? We're not getting paid the uh, same amount for the same work. We're getting paid less for the same amount of work that the men do, right? Now, um, this case uh, went to trial and a judge uh, dismissed the case. And the reason why he dismissed it is because they found that uh, the women actually got paid more than men, right? Uh, not only were they paid more in aggregate, but they were also paid more per game than the men were paid, okay? And it gets even more silly and messed up, okay? Uh, apparently, uh, the judge also found that the women had rejected the men's deal from the U.S. Soccer Federation that they offered them. They say, hey, listen, we'll pay you the same as men, right? But the men uh, deal was pay to play. So if you play, you get paid. If you don't play, then you don't get paid, right? That's the deal that the men had to deal with, right? The women said, hell no, <laughs> right? We don't want that, okay? And instead, they took a deal that included uh, guaranteed pay and all types of benefits. So the U.S. women's soccer team, because they're greedy, right? They redid the math and they saw that, hey, wait, if we would have took the men's deal, then we would have got paid more, right? And again, remember, they previously rejected that deal. So they got mad and was like, hey, you know what? We're going to go back and sue and claim gender discrimination for a deal that they rejected <laughs> in the past, right? That's how silly this is. So the court was basically like, <laughs> get the F out of here with this BS, right? That's essentially what they said. They're like, listen, you can't come in here claiming gender discrimination when uh, you previously rejected the deal that uh the soccer u.s soccer federation offered you you can't do that so again th that is why it was dismissed so with that being said some of you guys are probably wondering then if that's the case why did the u.s soccer federation settle and the answer is simple it's because of woke pressure right it's because facts don't matter anymore it doesn't matter that the court found that uh these women were actually getting paid more than men and that the women had rejected the men's deal in the past doesn't matter what actually matters is the narrative because the u.s women's soccer team uh with their millions of followers woke followers went on social media and started saying hey no no, no. we're still being discriminated against even though they have no evidence back up that claim whatsoever doesn't matter what was said in court no no, no. there's still a gender pay gap and we have to continue to fight the patriarchy okay so what happens is, is that now the U.S. Soccer Federation is in a bad PR position where they're seeing as this big patriarchal misogynistic organization that's keeping these women from being on the same playing field as men, despite the facts, right? And a large part of this pressure is not just from the women themselves basically telling this lie, but also from the mainstream liberal media repeating this lie, okay? So, um... What happened was, again, is that they ended up settling, right, for 20 plus million dollars out of 60 some million that they were being sued for. Now, lo and behold, uh, the same liberal media, right, that pumped out this lie 
uh, is showing you exactly why uh, you don't capitulate to the left because it's never going to be good enough. As uh, Stephen A. Smith, a.k.a. Stephen A. Simp, uh, basically came out here and still complained and whined on behalf of the U.S. women's soccer team over this settlement that they got based off a lie. Take a look. And I'm disgusted because as men, we're exposed. Why the hell did it take a lawsuit for this to happen? See, that's really what this comes down to. Just think about this for a second. You had to go to court and sue for millions. You ended up with less than half of what you were suing for, yeah. but that's not need, that's neither here nor there. $22, yeah. $24 million, congrats, uh, you know, to, to Rapino and everybody else. They deserve all the credit, all the affection, all the adulation, all the love in the world. It's a damn shame. That it had to come to this. Remember the story we had to do a couple, you know, last year sometime when the the ladies had to somebody had to put it on their cell phone to highlight the discrepancy in weight room facilities that were available mm -hmm. oh, yeah. to the women Olympians compared to the men. The men had a fully loaded oh, gym. That was egregious. Stuff, right. Yeah. And these, these these ladies had just some 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 dumbbells on the side and nothing else in the same location. So you can't use that gym as women, but the men could use it. You just you find yourself saying, damn, it's you it's it's almost incomprehensible how bad it is, how insensitive men who are in leadership positions. Some of these men, not all, of course, not. But some of these men who are in these leadership positions are so either deaf, dumb and blind or so aloof, so dismissive about the elements of fairness of fairness, these women should not have had to sue them for this, for this opportunity. Of course. Yeah, you're right, Stephen A. Uh, the women did not have to sue them for this opportunity because they were already being paid more than the men were. But you would know that if you actually knew the facts, if you actually paid attention and read about the case. Okay? But I'm pretty sure he knew it. But it doesn't matter what the facts are. He has to go up there and simp for the U.S. women's soccer team because that's what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to push the narrative that the women are being unfairly treated, right, with no evidence whatsoever. And to make it all worse, to top it all off, he blames men, right? It's the men's fault. It's the man's fault, okay? Was it the man's fault when the U.S. women's soccer team rejected the men's deal that they were offered from the U.S. Soccer Federation that is being ran by men, right? Was it the man's fault then? Oh, no, let's not mention that. Well, again, Stephen A. Smith here. This is what happens when simping goes wrong. Okay, simping going astray. This man's trying so hard to impress these woke women that he's just ignoring facts. Okay? Again, Stephen A., you're not going to get laid from this, bro. Right? You're not going to get no booty <laughs> because you're coming out here and you spouting lies. It's not going to happen. So I don't even know why you're doing this. But again, ESPN is woke, right? ESPN is woke. So he might be doing this just because he got to. This is the company line. Again, it's absolutely insane. So again, the, the liberal media is not satisfied. And apparently Hope Solo uh, is also not satisfied, okay? Uh, as apparently she's probably not getting a piece of this $22 million they settled for. So let's read here. Former U.S. goalkeeper Hope Solo is infuriated at the U.S. women's national team. Players agreed to a $24 million uh, deal with the U.S. Soccer Federation to settle their class action lawsuit over equal pay. Solo took aim at former teammates Megan Rapino and Alex Morgan in a Fury Instagram post accusing the pair of taking an easy way out of a fight they were never really in. In 2016, Solo, Rapino, and Morgan filed a complaint with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission claiming the women's team should receive equal pay to that of the men's team. They were later joined by Carly Lloyd and Rebecca uh, Sauburn. Six years ago, we started to fight for equal pay, something I'm very proud to say I led when I Push to bring on a new Players Association Executive Director, Rich Nichols, someone I knew would truly fight for us and give us the tools to challenge a federation that marginalized us for decades, Solo wrote. His strategy to file the EEOC complaint was the boldest action any team had ever taken. It wasn't an easy ask of anyone, at, and at the time, the decision went against the wishes of other players on the team now being called leaders in this fight. 
Okay. So what she's basically saying is that uh, they really didn't want to be a part of this complaint, right? They didn't really want to be a part of it. But now all of a sudden that this stuff is popular, you know, people like Megan Rapino are out here, you know, saying, hey, I'm at the forefront of fighting for women's rights, right? Women's rights, equal pay, okay? Throughout the entire process, Megan Rapino and Alex Morgan were the two most agreeable with the Federation and to this day continue to accept terms that are nowhere near what we set out to do. They both know this is not a win. They know it's an easy out of a fight they were never really in. Well, I mean, here's the thing. They know that the whole complaint in the first place is BS, right? So their job is to come out here and just to woke virtue signal, right? And act like, hey, we're fighting for this, right? We, we really want this. Knowing damn well that they're getting paid uh, just as much uh, as men, but and more than men, okay, in some cases, right? Evidenced by what the judge actually said in the court, okay? After a six-year battle with the American sports governing body, the U.S. Women National Team settled for a third of the amount it originally sought in damages. So they sought about $66 million, right? Rapino called the settlement a huge win Tuesday on NBC uh, Today. Solo, however, disagreed. Quote, this settlement is not a huge win. It's heartbreaking and infuriating. Solo wrote in her lengthy Instagram post, which also featured a photo of of a quote from the joint statement released by the U.S. Women's National Team and the U.S. Soccer Federation, a promise of equal pay from the Federation and back pay for a select group of players isn't equal pay and it isn't what this fight was about. Okay, so Hope is upset because she really ain't uh, going to get paid, okay, because she's uh, old, right, and I don't think she's a part of the current lawsuit, okay? She's not on the team anymore. So the people that actually get paid – are the women that are still on the team and the uh, most recent players to join, right? The players that's going to join in the future. They're the ones that are going to benefit the most from this, right? She ain't getting nothing. <laughs> so that's why she's salty. Quote, read the fine print. Contingent upon the negotiation of a new collective bargaining agreement, it doesn't exist yet and is not a guarantee. If, if the players have ever been successful in negotiating an equal CBA, there would be no reason to sue the federation in the first place. All right, so I want y'all to understand this. What she's saying here is that uh, this deal is contingent upon uh, them getting a new collective bargaining agreement, right? Now, the problem is, right, I want y'all to listen to this. In the new collective bargaining agreement, okay, in order for the women to receive equal pay, which is what is being promised to them, they basically, the men basically have to give up some of the money that they earn from the World Cup because they get a lot more money from the World Cup than women do because the men, of course, generate more money, right, than the women's do in revenue when it comes to the World Cup, so the men get paid more. So basically, in order to come to a collective bargaining agreement, what they're basically going to ask the men to do is to share some of their money from the World Cup to give to the women, right? So I want you to understand, this is peak what the women want. This is what the WNBA players want. This is what the women that are... Claiming that they're not paid equal amount, right? Whatever. What they actually really want is for men to subsidize them, right? And in the case of the U.S. soccer team, they're already getting paid more than men, okay? They are getting this $22 million settlement and and they're trying to get some of the men's prize money from uh, the FIFA World Cup, okay? Even though they don't generate nearly as much revenue from their um, tournament, okay? I, I want y'all to understand how just insane this is okay and you still have people that are not satisfied i mean it's it's incredible and i guarantee you this won't be the end they will continue to claim discrimination it doesn't matter what you do for these people they will not be satisfied okay it's it's absolutely insane this is like unbelievable the u.s uh women's national team will split 22 million according to a press relief with the ussf also adding an additional $2 million into an account to benefit the players in their post-soccer uh, careers and charitable efforts aimed at growing the sport for women. Each woman may receive up to uh, $50,000 from the latter fund. In the agreement, the USSF committed to equal pay for men's and women's national teams, including World Cup bonuses, pending a new collective bargaining agreement. That's what I was just telling you guys about. And Wednesday's post, Solo also paid tribute to former uh, U.S. Uh, national, women's national team captain Christy 
uh, Raponi and Hall of Famer Abby Wambach, both of whom were a part of the team that won the 2015 World Cup. Quote, the players that got us to where we are today are people like Christy uh, Ramponi, who stepped up to interview with the EEOC. Solo wrote, she and I were the only two players to do so. Players like Christy, Abby Wambach, Shannon Box, uh, Heather O'Reilly, Amy Rodriguez, Sydney uh, LaRox, uh, Lauren Chaney, Lori uh, Chaponi, and everyone else on the 2015 who set this fight in motion will not benefit from the selfishness and inequality of this settlement it also guarantees nothing to the next generation of players the equal pay case against u.s soccer i filed on behalf of the team long before the team sued still stands and i remain committed to fighting for all players past uh present and future it wasn't the first time Solo spoke out against the U.S. women's national team. Last January, she claimed the team was not doing enough in its fight for equal pay. Okay, so the reality is, is that none of these women should be complaining, right? And Hope Solo is upset with Megan Rapino, okay, and Alex Morgan because they know the writing on the wall. They know that this $22 million they shouldn't even have gotten, Okay. Because of the collective bargain agreement, the deal that they agreed to, the deal that allowed them to get guaranteed paying bonuses, these women got paid during COVID, right? Even though they weren't pay playing any games. The men's team didn't get anything, right? They know the writing on the wall. They know that they got this settlement simply because of PR. That's it. They got it based off a lie. So it's like, all right, you know, we're just going to take what we can get. But again, these other players, uh, Still not satisfied, right? Hands will always be out asking for more. Again, I, I just find this to be absolutely fascinating how even though the U.S. women's soccer team is getting paid based off a lie, right? There's still people that are complaining and not satisfied that are still going back and forth with each other. Okay? <laughs> it just shows you uh, how complicated a lot of this stuff can get when it comes to women right they're never ever ever satisfied when it comes to anything so let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace